Hello, I'm Todd Tracy with the Tracy Law Firm in Dallas, Texas, and I'm here in my crash lab with a vehicle that has been involved in a far side impact. Now, many of you may be asking, what's a far side impact? I want you to imagine you're sitting on the driver's side of your vehicle and you get T-boned on the passenger side of your vehicle. When that happens and you have your seat belt on, you literally roll out and away from the seat belt toward the intruding structure and you strike the intruding structure. So, a lot of times people ask me, do I have a potential case? And the answer is absolutely. What is that potential case against a vehicle manufacturer when I'm involved in a far side impact? Well, first of all, why did you roll out of your seat belt? Well, you rolled out of your seat belt because of the way the manufacturers design them. Why don't they, instead of putting them from the left to the right when you're on the driver's side, why don't they reverse it? called a reverse geometry seat belt, like they have in Europe and South America. The second, why don't we have on all of our vehicles an airbag that fires from in between the seats, called a center mounted airbag system? Many of you may have already seen it on the 2015 Chevy Traverse SUV. How about this one? When you, f when you deploy the side airbags, these side curtain airbags here, on the far side, when they're involved in a side impact like this, they deploy and go down in the snap of a finger. Why don't we have those stay up and out for six seconds like they do in rollovers? That way, in the event that your structure fails, in the event that you roll out of your seatbelt, at least you're hitting a cushioned airbag system rather than the structure. Far side impacts, for far side occupants are the most dangerous accident taking place today. And if you or a loved one are involved in that accident, you need to find a lawyer that knows how to handle that case against the vehicle industry.